What's up, everyone? What year are we in again? Because Biostar just released a six-year-old GPU, all right? Today is September 13th, 2024, and they just announced a 1080p GPU, all right, in white that was originally introduced six years ago, okay, from the Polaris architecture, the AMD Radeon Polaris architecture, all right? Now, a lot of people are saying, why would they do this? Why would they release a GPU that is six years old? All right. Especially because AMD has began, well, they've actually retired uh, Polaris GPUs. They don't support them anymore on the driver level. So Vega Polaris GPUs are not supported anymore. As you can see right here, uh, power went out. For Vega and Polaris and the, uh, the Radeon RX 580, you absolute legend. All right, so pre RDNA GPUs do not get driver support anymore. Okay, they, they are now legacy products with AMD. But however, if you go to the Amazon top sellers, all right, this is American Amazon, the US Amazon. Let me refresh the page here. And let me make it white. So these are the top sellers, okay? So let me scroll down. I'm gonna make it the top 100 or top 50, all right? So the top 50 GPU, top selling GPUs on Amazon. If you search up RX 580, you're gonna see right here, it is this one right here from XFX. It is the eighth top selling GPU on Amazon. 129 but 130 dollars it is in the top 10 now if you do another search there's this one from shadow kings and shadow kings is nobody knows this company however they do they're just repurposing um rx 580 cards from other manufacturers so they're taking them from other manufacturers i believe they were used for mining and they're just adding their own stickers to them. Nobody should buy anything from Shadow Kings. If you're going to buy a 580, buy it from XFX or now Biostar, right? So if you do another, oh yeah, as you can see, this is the 24th top selling GPU right now. Another search. So yeah, there are two of them are in the top 50 and one is in the top eight. So they're still selling. People are buying them because number one, it's just the price. You know, people just care about the price. Um, from the top 10, it is probably the cheapest, right? Here's the top 10. It's 130. So yeah, it's the cheapest GPU in the top 10 best-selling GPUs on Amazon. All right. And Shadow Kings one is just $106. So that's the reason why. People are, uh, I think that's why Biostar began to uh, release their own 580. And even if you look at the Steam hardware survey, let's look at the GPUs. You do a search for 580. Oops, 580 right here. And as you can see right there, right here, it's in the it's, it's up there. It's on a Steam hardware survey. 0.76% of Steam hardware survey uh, participants have a 580. Okay. More people have a 580 than, R, than RX 6600. More people ha are using a 580 on Steam hardware survey than, than the 3080 Ti. Then the 1080, then the 6700 XT, then the 5700. So as you can see, and here, even the RX 570 is up there. Here's the RX 580 uh, 2048 SP. So let me do the, let me see. 
RX 480 up there. So 580 is up there. 570 is up there. 550. 550 is up there too. 550. No, that's not there. Yeah, 550 is up there as well. So as you can see, AMD's Polaris GPUs are on the Steam hardware server. Many uh, Steam gamers have them. So BioStar is seeing an opportunity to release a GPU that people are buying at pretty budget-friendly prices. In my opinion, I think they should have released an Intel Arc GPU. It's a, you know, newer GPU. Drivers are still supported. Because right now, Biostar only sells the A380 and the A750. I would love to see Biostar selling an um, A770, an Arc A770. But hey, that's what it is. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.